Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through Goblin Queen. She took me 10 days to make her a uh, tier 3, uh, more than 300 million, more than uh, 8000 crystals. She cost earth and fire and uh, everything for me. I spent pretty much all my resources. I started doing it 12 days ago on my live stream and uh, only two days ago I managed to get here at tier 3 and I was ready to introduce you what I took from a character in the epic quest you know no artifact because you need to pay for the artifact or to be super lucky or else you can get it from the token shop of course but as a player that starts to do the epic quest you know getting a character without artifact and I was trying to get the maximum out of here uh, non in pvp because in pvp you can't actually use here without the artifact so I went and did test here uh, you know I went against some timeline bottle uh, to show you what's her power level at tier 3 I did some ABX because as it seems she is the second best character after Magneto to compete for ABX wall boss legend Jean and GBR uh, Dormammu and wall boss legend now actually but all these things doesn't matter right now because Net Marble got us off guard and surprised us, but in a weird way. And I'm saying weird way because everyone wanted to have a tier 4 in this epic quest, and so this epic quest can have a different value. They dropped a sneak peek last night, but this sneak peek, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what I feel about it after we just see the sneak peek. Before we go through that, guys, I want you to make sure that you have smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel, so you can get all the awesome content we're dropping. Content, uh, hit the notification bell so you can get all the content, short, live streams, community posts, everything we're doing, you know, so you can be updated about Marvel Future Fight. Before we go through the gameplay and the sneak peek, I wanted to mention that, you know, your support matters a lot and give me push to do even more content, even more videos weekly, uh, because as you know, my life now has two women, women, so yeah, it's kind of hard. So yeah, let's go to see first the sneak peek and after talk about my opinion on this thing. Yeah, it's a only here tier 3 animation, uh, but with red background and the hail style background. In the normal there is no, and in here L, there is a moment here that you can see she is going to be the tier 4 of uh, the epic quest. And yes, straight up guys, straight up bullshit, and why I'm saying that, why I'm saying that, because you know, if you are a content creator and there is an epic quest in the game for 12 days, more than 100 guys, you know, have already asked you, bro, should I go for this epic quest? I care more for PvP. Or should I go for the X-Men and build Jin and stuff like that, you know? You have give already advice to all of these people and now Netmarble tells you, oh, we forget, we have another tier 4. So, this is so bullshit. But if you, you know, I'm glad that the Epic Quest took more value, I'm glad for the people paid for the Epic Quest, but in the same time, think about the guys that had like 8000 crystals and decide to go for the other Epic Quest because they thought that there is no tier 4 in this Epic Quest. You are a company, a company, million dollar company that you are selling a product, you're giving us the product and you say, this product looks like that. There are some tier 3s, there are some shit that you're gonna buy, no tier 4, and we have other older products that have tier 4 on it, and they have still a lot of value. Do you wanna buy it? After 12 days, you say to these people again that this product, oh, we saw, we missed to say that there is a tier 4 on it. So, they didn't advertise well in the first place and in the second time they're coming back to tell you that there is a tier 4 in the epic quest so everyone who thought that there is no value on this epic quest now is have to reconsider you know they, they are they are trying to you know they are doing cock block kind of thing on their own epic quest 
by doing that. It's completely bullshit, it's completely weird. I'm happy we're getting here as tier 4, okay, I already built here and I was like meh building here without the artifact and that's this video what about, you know? So let's go and see her value before she actually took the tier 4 and yeah. Netmarble, guys, come on, listen up, listen up. There is only one situation that I can take, you know? If they had communicated in the first place that this update gonna be updated right now, this epic quest gonna be updated the next week or something, I could understand that people should wait first, but they didn't did that. So people skip that, it's now fucked already. So other than that, I only understand that they are doing that as a emergency thing, because they see their sales going like that, they see forums, they see Facebook, and they say, you know what? You know what? We can't hold tier 4 for Madeline. You need to drop the tier 4 right now. Because this sneak peek, to be honest, it's just a copy paste of a mystic style sneak peek, you know, with the tier 4. And in the same time, it's just here tier 3 animation. So, only if this is an emergency thing that they did because they see they, their, their sales are going down and they did that. Other than that, it's completely stupid dropping Cyclops in the previous cycle of update and now dropping Mystique and Madeline. I'm glad that we're getting here tier 4, but in the same time, it's really weird timing and it's like making fun of your uh, player base, you know? So yeah, that's, the, that's for the rounding. Let's go to see what she's doing there in PvE. So yeah, let's start from the most serious thing, and the most serious thing it's the way she walks into your, uh, fa you know, in your face here. Yeah, I have here built it with a mighty raid. I know a lot of people gonna say, "What are you doing there? She's a PvP character. Don't drop a raid on here." Yes, guys, I know, but I find myself that there is some value on here as a striker for the tier fours. And here value as a striker for the tier force with the raids increased uh, by a lot. Uh, last night I was trying to find a character that has uh, actually fracture on her striking ability and sees one of these characters. As it seems, uh, the team up I end up using with Jean Grey was not here and I used a Ghost Rider because Ghost Rider is better. But she is really nice and she has the Fracture ability on her skill. So whatever character you're gonna use here as a striker, she's gonna provide the striking ability of Fracture for ABL. This is a plus. Okay, look how hard I was trying to showcase that she is cool even without the artifact. But yeah, she is kind of bullshit. So the build I have right now, it looks like that. Her skills looks amazing and pretty much is really easy to go through her uh, rotation. I used exactly the same rotation that there is on skill preview and it's pretty much 3, cancel 5, cancel 4. You don't really need to go really fast, you don't need to, lead to delay something. And if you have your tier 3 ready, you're going into the tier 3, 3, 5, 4. So easy peasy. I was filling with some 1 and some 2. Her skill animation looks fantastic, but you can see that in skill preview of the characters by yourself, of course. So let's see what she was able to pull out on a timeline battle, uh, I mean, on Alliance battle extreme as blast villain with this build at tier 3. In the same time, she has no burn on her skills, so you need to utilize Cyclops with villain uniform and do him to do strike uh, with co-op skill or stop casting any skills for like 5 seconds and let him strike for you uh, with the skills. Every single character has a striking ability while you're using your skills. So while you're using the skills of Madeline, uh, Cyclops, if you haven't used any skills for a period of time, he's coming inside and do a hit for fire with his uh, Phoenix Force uniform. He's doing a lot of skills that has fire effect, so he can do the burn ability himself. Here I'm using him, I think, with the co-op, but... Uh, Perhaps, yeah, I, I'm not using him with the co-op. As you can see here, I did the burn to stop uh, Beast from doing uh, the roar. And that's because I have stopped doing my skills and I used him as a striker there. I did the cancelling. You can see the timing. 
right now we are 1 minute and 50 seconds into the stage and I am at 8 million already. That feels, you know, really nice. You say, you know what, she has some value on ABX other than just if you have here artifact for PvP. So yeah, let's go through. It's kind of boring, you know, I'm not like, uh, I don't want to show you just the whole, uh, the whole fight. But yeah, th this is the, the previous moment that it's really important. It's when I use my co-op skill to do the cancelling, as you can see. I use the co-op here and in the end I had to do the same, exactly the same, just wait and my Cyclops supposed to come and strike for me but uh, yeah he betrayed me so until the last fight, the last phase I did 10.6 at the end of the fight I had like 10.9 uh, but because I had to break the shield from the roar took me like a uh, half a million so Potentially, with a mighty rage and a build without Odin's Blessing and nothing serious, I could pull out 11.5. That means that 12 million was able to be happen, you know, and this is really cool and way better than the previous, uh, you know, uh, options we had, like it was Iron Man, Villain or Mephisto or uh, Mysterio or Modok even other than Magneto, of course. So yeah, she has some value, but now she's going to be tier 4 also, so for PV, perhaps she's gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Magneto also here. We have to reconsider that after the tier 4 and year level 80. But yeah, let's see what she's able to do at GBR with this CTP of raids. I'm using CTP of raids because all the other CTPs, uh, it's either you have to proc with a mighty destruction or a mighty energy, which seems undoable with all these effects popping out from the start where you're using them, when you're using your third skill, your fifth skill or your tier three skill, uh, small damage starts from the beginning. So you can't even, uh, you, you can't know that you're going to proc proper every single time. It's kind of hard. And in the same time for judgment, uh, only two of your skills has elemental damage, so if you want to use her on PV at all, probably only CTP of Rage and a Mighty Rage or Brilliant Rage could be the case. As you can see here, 35 seconds for the first phase of Dormammu, it's really fast in my book for a tier 3 level 70, and as you can see here, I went through uh, her skills and one rotation on the first, on the second fight, uh, on the first fight, you know, on the first phase, I did two rotations and I strip off uh, 50 bars. Here, it's kind of slowing down, but it's pretty much two bars for the normal rotation and six to seven bars on the tier three rotation. Here is a tier three rotation and we're starting at 27 bars and we're gonna end up being at 20 something. Yeah, something like 20. So yeah, what I told you. Here you can see she was able to clear the boss in under two minutes and I managed to die myself uh, because I just wanted to see if she has, uh, you know, if she can survive it. I standing still there and start doing damage. I did the trick here to avoid the fires, of course, I'm always doing it. But you can see here, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stand still there, I'm gonna get damage, I'm gonna see how durable she is, I'm gonna try to heal by her skills. But the heal, it's like on the fifth skill, the fifth skill has like four to five seconds cooldown. So take some time uh, before it pop out. And here he managed to kill me with another purple attack. But yeah, pretty much uh, two minutes and seven seconds to clear. It's kind of good. So I guess he's good as level 70 for GBR. So let's check out World Boss Legend, let's check out now the first roadblock for all the mutants, uh, all the players that want to grind, you know, uh, World Boss Legend used to be this stage here, uh, because the mutants at level 70 was really hard for them to do this stage. But this specific mutant at level 70, as you can see, flying through the stage, so I'm guessing that her damage is way better than the average mutant, you know, even Storm at level 70 was not able to do that and Storm is one of the hardest, you know, the biggest hitters in the game right now. She's doing a ton of damage and look at this, 
level 70 of course it's double support i'm using polaris lead and support and mystique as a support but still she is able to pull out 30 bars in like uh 30 in like 55 seconds pretty much and for the next phases of course you can see i went through uh this phase i almost skipped the dragon phase as you can see here i stopped at the eighth bar because he went into the his iframe uh, so two minutes in the fight and I'm able to be that far at stage 50. It's kind of impressive and in the end you can tank at whatever damage he's doing. So you're standing still there dropping the tier 3 and he can't survive through your attacks. No, it's just dying like a dog there. As you can see really fast clear. Of course it's a level 70 you need to consider that but uh, yeah stage 50. It used to be really hard back in the day. But of course I wanted to have a thematic clear, you know, clone wars, clone gene against proper gene here. And yeah, C is destroying here. The stage that uh, I could participate at the moment with the stage I have clear uh, at the moment, you know, until 49, the only stage I could participate and clear actually is stage 14. Uh, so stage 14, uh, yeah, I know it's kind of low. Why should you go there? I'm not sure. Uh, I know people that want easy clears for their world boss legend. And C is one of the easiest clear to go through. C is really easy to control and her skills are really cancelable really fast. And the first skill and your second skill helps you a lot to cut the animation and run through the stage without having to die in front of Jean. Here I try to tank some attacks and see how durable C is. And I'm gonna tell you, C is a lot of durable. Even without her artifacts, she can survive a lot on the wall boss legend. And yeah, let's go fast forward into the last part where it's supposed to be the hardest part here. As you can see, she can take a lot of damage. And even if it stays 14, these attacks one shots you most of the times. I end up having like one minute left, which for level 70 character, it's 50 seconds actually, 53 seconds left, which for a level 70 character, it's kind of impressive, you know, and look at this, every single time you complete something, she's doing the walk, every single time, bro, she's doing the walk, look at this, it's ridiculous how cool she is and how hot mama she is herself, look at this, bro. She's doing that. Okay, okay, okay. But the point of the video was that if you can't have access on her artifact, she is kind of useless for the average player. But now she's getting a tier 4. So whatever I wanted to say to this video, now it's kind of wasted. And the fact that I want to show you a super builded uh, meddling here, I went through timeline bubble. Only one dude had her uh, use and that means a lot, you know. If she was like super uh, meta, everyone could use her. And the only way to go through this dude was Bishop GR and he had her at the end. The only way to go through was to kill Adam, kill Wolverine and after let it on autoplay and see how the character goes against my Adam Warlock. Here, as you can see, my Adam Warlock on autoplay was really easy to kill here. And this is the dude I was talking about, Bishop G uh, JR. As you can see, he was like top ranked on timeline battle. So yeah, I tried a couple of different variations, you know. I tried to use my uh, Jean against Madeline on autoplay. I tried to play on manual with my Adam. Of course, with manual with Adam, it's really easy to kill Madeline. Here you can see my Jean Grey got a CTP of Raids, so it's not like my Jean Grey is builded for PvP or something. And I let here on autoplay against Colossus for a moment. Colossus almost killed her, so I, I enabled her artifact. So even Colossus can kill Madeline. That was my conclusion actually. Of course, the conclusion that was before Netmarble tell us that oh, we did a mistake, <laughs> the character is actually tier 4. Because after she gets her tier 4, she can compete on timeline battle. But 
before that the uh, you know before the tier 4 you can see i was easily deleting any mid lane and the number one mid lane uh on the timeline bottle as you can see here was easily you know destroyed from colossus easily destroyed from Jean Grey, from adam warlock and here you can see she killed my Jean Grey once but uh i need to show you what this mid lane looks like what's her build uh, later on we're gonna go through the build this guy has so you can see what I was able to kill here I think it's the manual gameplay I played manual against here to see if she is going to counter attack me or if she is going to kill me somehow with my Adam Warlock first uh, this is the first right uh, run I did actually and I see that it's really easy to go against Medlin in uh, timeline battle so I was like you know what let's give her a shot and go on my characters on manual and that's why I went through manual and saw you pre uh, on auto and saw you before so yeah that was it, my review, first review on this character and supposed to be a video to show you that you don't need to build her, she's not good for PvP, she's not top meta for anything in the game, actually, even if you have her artifact, you can't survive through Adam Warlocks and Jean Grey. This is the mighty lane of the dude I told you, it's a mighty authority with an artifact and you can see she has like 80,000 HP, uh, that's his account. So yes, why build here if you only can have here uh, a bit of a value and she's not the best on uh, PvP, she's not the best for PvE, so yeah, I was like... I spent all these resources and what I'm going to do with this character? I'm gonna get her tier 4 artifact from the token event that I suggest everyone who has the epic quest to do. And what after that? I'm gonna let her in my inventory and never use her again. But Netmarble came here and told me, whoops, don't do that video, you're gonna be a mistake, you're gonna do a mistake on that. And yes, I did. They surprised us good and bad in a situation that I just explained to you. They introduced a product having some flaws and they told us this is the product, buy it or not. And after 12 days, they are changing their mind and add additional value or the product. That makes people spend their crystals, spend their resources on other things like other tier 4s, other epic quests and after come back to see that they did a mistake cause you didn't inform us if you had made the post to communicate this bullshit guys everyone should be aware of it and know if you communicate with the content creators with the community you have a f forum that is full of creeps there and talking about bullshit clear this shit and make and one by one you know communication with the community put some moderators Put some effort on this bullshit you're trying to sell to us. It's like the, war the, the most expensive character in the game, actually the most expensive. You need more than 12,000 crystals if you start the game right now. You need a ton of resources. More than 300 million I spent. More than 10,000 Phoenix Feathers. All these bullshits I had to go through to have a character and it was completely useless before you told me that it's a tier 4 now and I'm happy for my investment but I'm really sad and angry for all the people that spend their crystals and they are not content creator, they are not rich, they are not crazy and you are the crazy guys, you are the crazy wake up, make it proper, communicate what the fuck dude okay I'm not sure what this video is, it's a happy video, a round video, probably a round video again, but yeah, that was it, Goblin Queen guys, enjoy it, enjoy it yourself, hope you enjoy it, as I did, and I'm going to unequip the mighty raids to pay more crystals for her, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to tier 4 here, probably yes, because she feels to be really strong at tier 3, Think about at tier 4, she's gonna dismantle the game PvE or PvP, probably. We have to wait and see. Uh, apparently, the sneak peek uh, were one day ago, so the patch notes is gonna be the same time that I'm going to drop the video, perhaps a bit earlier, so you already know what we're gonna get. I don't know yet, but yeah, let's find out, let's find out. 
Hope you enjoyed the review. See you into the next. Hope I help you decide. Kiss you in your face.